All right, welcome back to episode 56 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel playthrough. We completed the three solo mode duels um, because we completed the first duel in the last um, last episode. So yeah, let's go right back into it and into the next duel, solo mode. Really cool. I'm really excited to actually release some new new duels, solo mode duels. Uh, they're not including any lore, but that's fine. Uh, use Fury of the Karyu Shin and Torrential Tribute in tandem. Ah, okay. They actually go together, uh, these two cards. To not only destroy all of your opponent's monsters, to not only destroy all of your opponent's monsters while protecting your own water monsters from being destroyed by Torrential Tribute. Yeah. Also, keep an eye out. Pardon me. For Leviat. Leviat Dragon Daedalus. I think this uh, has something to do with Umi. Which will destroy all car other cards on the field when this controller sends Umi to their graveyard. Yeah, indeed. There are many other cards that revolve around the field spell Umi. <laughs> so take care not to leave Umi and other related field spells hanging out around for too long. <laughs> awesome. Okay, it's really bad rewards again. Uh, they spoke about giving these uh, duels good rewards. But yeah, these, these legacy pack tickets are terrible. <laughs> They're really bad, so... Alright, we will be playing with a stone alpha, alpha beta in gamma, the magnet warrior, curse of dragon, okay. Give him the swamp, so fusion, polymeris polymerization. This is oh, electromagnet warriors, okay, okay, nice, this is pretty good. I have made a deck like once of this in uh, on a private server, but usually you can imagine if I, as a pure dualist, I make um, a deck, then it's difficult to find a, a place to actually play with people, unless my friends play on there as well, but usually they didn't. So, um, I have made a deck, but I never played with it. Um, some staples, more staples. Attack the moon. Okay, interesting. Um, I would say let's just go into battle and see what we are de dealing with. Our opponent's gonna play Umi and have the dragon and torrential tribute. And f so, this, this is gonna be interesting. Torrential tribute is actually a really good card um, in general, unless our monsters have protection, but I'm not sure if they do. So since he is going to play with, okay, that might already be Torrential Tribute. I guess we can focus on low level monsters, oh, okay. Um, it sounds weird, but it's actually, I think it's a good thing to actually activate it right now. It was not Rage of the Karyushin, okay. Um, this actually has, if Umi is on the field, target monsters your opponent controls up to the number of water monsters you control. Who's okay, so this was not useful at all. Uh, you control whose original levels are five or higher, destroy them. And if you do, the zones they were in can be used until the end of the next turn. You can only activate one per turn. Okay, that's pretty cool. If it's cards normal or special summons, you can send one level four or lower warrior, magnet warrior monster from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, if this card sent to the graveyard, you can banish three level four or lower magnet warrior monster from the graveyard, except Delta. Yeah. Special summon one Valkyrion, the magnet warrior from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, wait, this has if cards no more special summon, you can save one, add, you can add one level 4 or lower warrior monster from your deck to your hand. Magnet warrior. Except beta. You can only use, so this is, I remember you have magnet warriors and electromagnet warriors, and this is uh, an electromagnet warrior, and this is a normal magnet warrior. Okay, so, yes, and this actually has a um, second effect can only use this effect one, once per turn. Yes, during your opponent's turn, you can tribute this card. Special summon one level four magnet warrior from your deck. This is a quick effect, so that's definitely the better one. Uh, activate this effect, definitely. Yep, add a card to the hand, let's see. We have the normal magnet warriors. Then we have the electro magnet warrior. So we have alpha, and alpha is actually, this card's normal summon, you can sp or special summon, you can add one level eight magnet warrior monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. Your opponent's turn you can tribute. Okay, so that's a common effect against uh, for all the um, among the electromagnet warriors. Uh, namely that during your opponent's turn you can tribute this card special summon one level four magnet warrior monster from your deck. And that's pretty good, obviously, because they all have an effect when they are normal or special summon, so. Uh, so this is alpha, we have on the field beta beta, and this is gamma. Uh, this is if it's normal or special summon, you can special summon one level four lower magnet warrior from your hand. That's pretty good. Gonna use this effect once per turn. I think we're gonna add this monster to the hand. You can tribute this card, special summon one level four. Wait, that's during your opponent's turn again. Okay. 
and we also have delta okay so yeah let's add this code to the hand then perhaps next turn we can do some interesting things so yeah, these are rock monsters. Okay, you can target one spell trap your opponent controls to destroy that target. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's the way we, that we can uh, destroy Umi eventually, hopefully. So let's attack. Um, yeah, unfortunately that was not really good use of our Harpy's Feather Duster, but again, I don't like the card anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> one face down card. He's not really doing too much. Let's definitely activate this effect and. Get out oh, Delta, why not? Right. Send one to the graveyard. That's what the Magnet Warrior does. So the Magnet Warrior sends one to the graveyard. I guess the normal monsters. Oh no, these. Oh for the Electromagnet Warrior. Oh wait. These don't have effects when they get sent to the graveyard. So let's just send these uh, normal monsters out of the deck, I guess. Okay, I'm really curious what our opponent has. Perhaps he has this this might actually be a um, torrential tribute and yeah our monsters don't have anything so what we can do is hope for the best um, because if we normal summon this we can actually normal summon another monster or special summon another monster from the hand and then we can send a normal monster to the graveyard let's send alpha or beta we have both alphas one alpha in the graveyard one alpha in the hand um, I guess battle we can still change the battle position of this, but since it's not torrential tribute anyway, let's just go into battle. Let's go to main phase two. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's it. Attack of uh, attack the moon doesn't really have a anything uh, while it's face up on the field, unless our battle positions are changed. But I don't think you can do that. Add one torrential. Oh, this uh, this is actually a decent card. We would actually want to include this card in our um, uh, Phantasm Spiral deck as well, like a, as an option. Basically, it's a, a side deck option or something. Um, because what it does is add one torrential tribute from your deck to your hand. If a water monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card, uh, would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So yeah, you can imagine if we have Umi on the field and see stealth attack. I'm asking for a lot here because if we have both of those on the field then we're already in a really good position so this could be deemed a win more card but if we have that set up then our opponent's monsters can't really kill our monsters by battle because they automatically get destroyed by a card effect um, so what they want to do is uh, destroy our token by a card effect right and but with this card we can actually protect uh, prevent that from happening protect our tokens from uh, card effect destruction so um, yeah we can just do this whenever right the tributing of this monster so he's gonna have a torrential tribute, sure. Monster reborn. That's cool. Oh, he's gonna reborn our monster. Interesting. In defense. Link it. Oh no, not Link. Oh, legendary fisherman. This card's name becomes legendary fisherman while on the field or in the graveyard. While Umi is on the field, this card's unaffected by other monsters' effects. It is face-up card is destroyed by battle, or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. While on his owner's control, you can add one level 7 water monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, pretty cool. Um, is he gonna attack? I mean... I mean, yeah, sure, we can just get the monster on the field then, right? Sure, please do so. Then we can activate its effect, yes. Because we can banish three monsters from the graveyard. Do they have to be alpha? No, they're alpha, beta, beta, and beta. <laughs> alpha and beta and beta, basically but different ones all right so and then we get five oh carry on and let's see what he is can it be normal summon set must be special summon from your hand by attributing one blah, blah, blah. that doesn't happen because it's a uh, special summon ignoring its summoning conditions uh you contribute this card then target one alpha the magnet warrior beta the man in your graveyard special summon them why would we want to do that it has really good attack set though so it's basically a normal monster on the field i feel almost this is likely torrential tribute and since it's our, our opponent's turn, he cannot do anything right now, so we can just uh, get one other out. Let's do this one. Alright, well, I don't see him having anything. I'm pretty sure that that's Torrential Tribute anyway, so... If you control a level 4 or lower Earth... Four, oh wait, if you control a level 4 or a lower Earth monster, you can target one level 4 or lower Earth 
Magnet Warrior monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Oh, that's pretty cool, but then he will get uh, Torrential Tribute out, so. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn, at the end of the damage step, when an Earth Rock monster you control battled an opponent's monster, but the opponent's monster was not destroyed by battle, you can return that opponent's monster to the hand. Pretty good. That's pretty cool. Uh, battle. <laughs> We're not gonna do anything. Obviously. Oh, he has an effect. Add uh, the level 7 water monster to permit your hand. Yeah, that's fine and all, but... Bye bye, fear the great sea. All right, now uh, we will l definitely, definitely play with our deck as well, um, the Phantasm Spiral deck. And Phantasm City, which is our fi field spell, is always treated as Umi, so its name is always Umi. So in some sense, it's uh, actually a, a similar deck that we will be playing with because it's uh, literally Umi as well, but it's just a different Umi. <laughs> we haven't seen him, uh, his field spell though. This was, uh, unfortunately, he, our opponent probably drew some pretty bad cards, so. Our opponent starts. Hey, that's uh, a familiar start. Umi, Legendary Ocean, of course, yeah. And then he, yeah, okay, okay. So Legendary Ocean, I should uh, explain what it does. It's a really famous card. It's, uh, I forgot his name, but someone in the anime actually played with this. Uh, it's, he looks like uh, the character on this. Yeah, he, he looks like that. He looks like his boss monster basically it's not his uh, i guess the boss monster <laughs> um all water monster on monsters on the field gain 200 attack and defense reduce the level of all water monsters in both players hands and on the field by one so um yeah we don't have water monsters on the health hand and field and everything but uh this card's name becomes the legendary fisherman while on the field or in the graveyard while umi is on the field this card's unaffected by other monsters effects if this face of card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect while on his owner's control uh, yeah, you can add one level seven water monster from a deck to your hand. So that's definitely pretty decent. Um, let's start by activating this, I guess. Then he can summon effect monsters the next turn. So that's decent. Uh, we also have a treasure tribute. That's interesting. We activate Fantasy Spiral. We will activate this, but he will, he likely has a torrential tribute. I just guess can guess that he has a torrential tri 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 tribute. All right, nice. Um, then we actually can add a card to the hand. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. Because we can actually activate our equip spell card. The first time the equip monster would be destroyed by battle each turn, it's not destroyed, so that's always nice. The end of the battle phase, if the equip monster battles, you can special summon one Phantasm Spiral Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard, and equip it with this card. Then, if they have any, your opponent discards one card. So, that's pretty useful. Um, so we equip it. Uh, no, don't shame. Then we battle. We attack. And then we obviously activate this card. Negate this effect so he can't um, add a monster to the hand either. Ooh, if you miss on the field, target monsters your opponent controls up to the number of water monsters you control. Whose original level? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's the same monster, of course. Uh, same card that we saw earlier. So target monsters your opponent controls up to the number of water monsters you control whose original level are five or higher. Destroy them, and if you do, the zones that were in cannot be used until the end of the next turn. So that's normally detrimental, but for us it doesn't really matter. Um, nice, Umi actually boosts us as well. Um, ooh, we can actually activate this because we can act. Uh, this actually has a graveyard effect. You can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one normal monster you control. Equip one Phantasm Spiral Equip spell card from your hand or graveyard to that normal monster. So let's definitely do that. Then our plan was actually uh, actually happened, uh, just as uh, it was supposed to. Right. Let's attack. Still uh, has its effects negated. No. Okay. Ah, it's only effects negated while placed on the field. Alright, cool. Um, then our opponent discards one card at the end of the battle phase. Uh, yep, definitely. Special summon Phantasm Spiral Dragon. What's up? Alright, ah, here he discards a, a card. That's fine. Um, then we go, yeah, we are already in the main phase. We put this phase down and put our Torrential Tribute phase down. Well, let's see what our opponent has for us. I'm really curious. As you can see, uh, we have Water Monster as well. <laughs> so that's the pretty funny part about the Umi. Um, field spell card. It actually helps us as well. Okay, so let's activate this. 
Yeah, I guess because uh, we don't really. Oh, it's actually switched. Never mind. Never mind. I uh, thought that uh, we would lose the the field spell card, uh, a quest spell card here, but we don't. Um, yep, we special summon it in attack position, and we get a we get to add a card to the hand. Uh, nope, don't activate. We add this phantasm spiral battle, and with that being done, I think let's go to battle. As long as Umi remains face up on the field, this card can attack twice during it, the same battle phase. That's pretty cool. Uh, no. And he's gonna do damage, right? That's all he had to do. Let's go to the main phase. There's no applicable card for Phantasm Spiral Wave. Ah, yeah, okay. We couldn't special summon the Phantasm Spiral Dragon. Um, yes. And end phase. And that's, by the way, then also... Since we didn't, didn't special summon Phantasm Spiral Dragon... We also don't discard a card from our opponent's hand. That's a pity, but so be it. Her, yeah, we can banish this from the graveyard and add a tangy spell trap card to the hand. We only have one. It will be our trap card. So then we have two negates on the board, actually. So um, I'm really curious what our opponent can do here. Oh, why do I misclick like this? <laughs> oh my god. I thought we were already in the uh, battle phase. I don't know. I still make this mistakes. This mistake um, nowadays. Um, all right, let's go to the main phase too. Yeah, no playable card. That's a pity. End phase. Face down card and a spell trap card. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's. Mm. We could have basically activated this on the trap card, but we have to negate space down right now, so I think we'll be fine. Um, Alright, so what I think we could do... Sounds a bit silly, but let's um, actually tribute our monster. And, nope. Get out the Mystery Shell Dragon. Yes. Because then we can just special summon the Phantas Phantasm Spiral Dragon from the graveyard later. And also we just get to add a card to the hand right now. So I... Th I think it will be interesting to activate this on his face down. Might be the Rage again, the Rage card. Yes, oh it was. Oh, we did, he didn't have any water monster on the field. Uh, it's a face down monster. Um, yes, we have this. In graveyard, we have that. We can switch the um, control of this equipped spell card to another monster. Doesn't really matter. Battle. I think he doesn't have uh, 2000 defense monsters. Yeah, oh, this, uh, this is a pretty cool card. You can discard this card, add one. A legendary ocean from your deck to your hand. That's pretty cool. Uh, attack, yes. Um, yes, okay. Main phase, then he's uh, summoning Phantasm Spiral Dragon. Don't chain. And our opponent's gonna discard one card. Ooh, legendary fisherman. He does have Umi on the field though, so. Fear the Great Sea. Yeah, no, he's, uh, you're dead. You're gonna attack this monster, <laughs> really? Um, activate this in the hand. Yeah. <coughs> Do destroy your monster. And we can even negate your effect, because why not? Face down card. Ooh, pretty cool. Um, nope. No thing. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty cool that we drew that. Um, let's just activate it, because why not? Oh, we had sea stealth attack. Alright, you can see that they're actually pretty similar decks, um, but we definitely prevail with our Phantasm Spiral deck compared to the Umi deck. The Umi deck is really fun. It's a really nostalgic deck as well. Um, it's actually, on an um, interesting note, I haven't mentioned it earlier, I don't know why, um, it's getting uh, support, and uh, I'm not sure when, but I've read the cards already, which uh, are going to be coming out, which in relation to, which work together with the Umi support cards, basically, and uh, they, they seem really, really good, so uh, if anything, I'm really excited for it, I hope you guys are as well, and I hope you enjoyed this episode, we will be continuing in the ne next episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, peace out.